right, so today I'm gonna be watching a world where fish are no longer uh, forced to climb trees. I do sound a bit raspy because I am sick, but we're pushing through. So basically this video is about modernized schooling. It's completely based off of how the evolution of schooling hasn't changed, which has caused many problems and people aren't getting very far in next generations. So we shall watch it. I've chosen this topic as it has come into my life very much. So as I want to go into medical and there aren't many opportunities in school to look at specific medical stuff as biology hasn't change because they still do all of cell work and that so i feel like it's a good discussion to have of modern day schooling so we shall start okay so first few lines clearly going into the title but um, I do find that this is a popular belief as uh, children have been getting severely tired in schools and it's like it's just it's uneven with education all around. So every like every class is different. Every teacher has a different strategy of teaching. And so I feel like that just causes a lot of unbalance between children and okay so he clearly has a very strong opinion about creativity being kind of not there in schooling i definitely see it um however it is like it is up to the teachers and like students to work together on that like just finding your passion is something that you're supposed to do yourself instead of like working like letting someone else control what your passion is going to be so i feel like it's definitely up to you to figure out like what you like and experimenting and that could be by either watching someone do it like experience something being raised around it it's purely up to you about like what you'd like to do um so creativity might have like a harsh effect from schooling but i don't think that it's like fully based off of schooling and it's more based off of students not being able to find their passion because school doesn't have an open enough barrier to do that So, I definitely think that, one, his pictures are truthful, like, he's definitely gone out of his way to do research on this, um, but there has been change in schooling, and I definitely think a lot more about equality and such, like, it's definitely, it's a, it's a big topic to kind of struggle to discuss as, like, in a century so much has changed with society that like you can't the visual appearance may have not changed but like the society in general has changed like women have become people and they've been able to receive rights whereas like back in the day it was like one they didn't even identify with people two classrooms were completely separate like girls and boys were not allowed to be taught in the same classroom and girls were usually taught just to be housemaids and had a very low education. They only learned bare minimum of like English, math, and how to be a housemaid, whereas like males had the full kind of curriculum. So I definitely think that there has been a lot of change and it's not just the visual appearance that stayed the same.
Okay, so I 100% agree on this. There's been so many studies that have gone into this topic and just overall, like there's been just so much research done with like having schooling, putting people in factories. Like it's just, it hasn't evolved to an extent where it's trying to make people go and do what they're passionate about. There hasn't been many, like, there hasn't had many studies where they're able to do what they want to do and they just have to learn what the curriculum gives them, which is why they have to do, like, English every single year, math, the majority of their schooling. Like, it's just kind of, it's setting you up to go work in a factory because they're all things that you need. And I definitely think the competing part of a grade A is definitely a great example as it's literally something that people compete for and there's been like many like things that happen if you don't get an A, your parents get mad and all of this. And it's basically just like there have been people ha who have gone to Harvard who didn't have very good grades in elementary and high school and are now like top tier in Harvard but you know it's just it's very difficult to kind of get out of school like with a high success rate of what you want to go into for a career field. line completely speaks to me because I definitely think that it is it is almost like giving people all the same medicine because like literally everyone has like different things that they need to go through and I feel like that's some problem with some teachers is you have to do it their way and something I struggle with so much because it's like you have to do it how the teacher does it and you can't do it a different way where it's like some teachers, they teach all their students differently. And I feel like that's just, it's, it's showing how successful you can be in a class because I know for me, like if I, I have a math teacher that teaches everyone the exact same and you have to do it her strategies, whereas I have I have strategies that I have learned in the past that work better for me on certain things such as algebra but she demands that you do it her way so I think it's definitely very difficult to kind of judge a student if you only teach them one way and you don't open up your barriers to what they might need or what they need to learn because it's just, it will be such a struggle for the student in general, which is why there's been so much increase in like stress, anxiety, depression, because nothing is really changing the aspect of teachers going out of their comfort zone to actually like open up to the child. And that's definitely gonna be a need in the long run because you can't just sit there and teach a child the same thing as every other one because everyone needs different things. That is honestly, it's honestly so true. I feel like going by a testing system is just, it's so wrong. It really is. And like, even with myself, I struggle on tests because of my anxiety. So I have a really hard time focusing on a test and that usually ends up in a lower grade than all of my other things. Like I get a hundred on like all of my assignments. I know what I'm doing, but every time it comes to a test, I get something wrong because I just, I can't focus and it's just, you can't expect someone to want to memorize something that they're not going to need. Nobody's going to need 
the diameter of a circle equation if they don't want to use that in their field. So, look, like, it's just, it's kind of ridiculous to expect, like, a student to want to learn about this, to want to memorize these things. And a lot of teachers are like, oh, you just have to understand the topic. I don't want to understand the topic. That's the thing. If someone doesn't want to understand something, it's like forcing someone with dyslexia to go read a novel when they don't like reading because they can't understand it. It's, it's beyond what you can expect from a student. And tests are just, they're too, like, they're too outlined to fit needs of the curriculum instead of needs of what the child's going to need in their career path. So it basically goes on to talk about how like the Finland curriculum is completely different from the rest of the world and he goes on with like the skills of different children and all of this. Um, but yeah, I do think that it is a very impactful video. Not only is it talking about such a big struggle worldwide, but also like it uses, like it's using things from like poetry. It's got the rhythmic um, format. So I think just in general, it like, it just speaks to people more. Um, I do think that he should fact check just a bit. He has some things that do include many like facts and such that are real, but I do think he should go deeper into research, especially during that he's only visualizing what a classroom looks like today. Okay, okay. So the main reasons like, that this topic has become such an issue. One, the mental health of students. There's been a rapid incline in mental health for students. Um, it's actually, there's been studies that show that an average student today has so much anxiety that they would be diagnosed as a psychiatric patient in the 1960s. So, that's, that was one thing I talked about uh, during the video was the change and how there has been change because clearly the studies show this. Um, another reason like why it's becoming an issue is because I feel like people are worried more about what the next generation is doing as a lot of people have just started becoming influencers rather than going into fields. Not to mention the fact that we've started to create robots that just take over jobs. So I think that they're worried that something might go wrong in the process of like creating the next generation into a highly successful uh, career generation. And they feel like they're probably going to lose a lot of spot lot of spots in the higher like division of education um such as like medical engineering all of that so i definitely think that's like a main concern for everyone um why does this continue to be an issue well one the video talks about it a lot and it talks a lot about the school not looking at the bigger picture for the child um but also like it's just continued on because like the school curriculum in society won't change like the world would have such an issue trying to come to an agreement of schooling because like every every country has different schooling one way or another but it's basically all outlined the same so I think it would be hard to come to an agreement to change that outline. Okay, so that was my response to this video. And it might...
might be a bit boring watching me react, but it's fine because I'm sharing my passion on this topic. So yeah, bye, have a good day.